Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your brand new Galaxy Note 8. So I'm just going to walk you through the setup process and kind of help you out, uh, make sure you know how to set this device up. So we're going to go next, um, and then it's going to immediately start a scanning for a Wi-Fi. So I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi here. And then I'm going to enter my password. Uh, so just enter your password in. Um, this is usually on the router or anything like that if you don't not sure what it is. So I'm going to enter in my password. Okay, and then you see the obtaining IP and now it's connected. So once you are connected to the Wi-Fi, you can go ahead next. And then uh, we're going to set the time for your schedule. So I am in Pacific time, so I'll set it to that. Uh, you can manually enter in the time, but usually you'll get it from the internet. So that's how it'll typically do it. And then you sign into your Samsung account. If you do not have one, I suggest you do create one because this will help you um, always uh, restore uh, all of your information if you've ever lost it or if you use other Samsung devices. I myself have an S3 and a Note 2, so it'll sync up my accounts. So I will do that now. And then after it signs you in, you can hit the restore. If you do not have a backup, of course, then you do not have to uh, restore, but basically it will retrieve your information from your Samsung account. Now, um, if you ever get like an error message, I remember I did that one time, I just went again, I just did it again, and then it did restore it. Uh, most of my information is not with Samsung, however, most of my information is with Google. Um, and that'll be the next step, um, it, though it is interesting that Samsung chose to go first on their new devices uh, rather than like uh, the Google account sign in to come first. So I think that is interesting. Samsung, I believe, is trying, trying to take over um, for all of your backup needs, it seems like. Now we're just loading here. This can take some time, of course, because um, it's trying to get everything that you've backed up. And the more devices you have, the more um, it takes longer to retrieve that. So me, myself, again, I have uh, two phones, you know, I don't know how many tablets I've gotten um, over the years. So all this is being uh, retrieved and then entered into this device. And then we have it. So I can actually choose my device. I will choose my uh, Note 2. Um, and I will enter uh, that one into it. And I guess it can also restore my wallpaper that I had on that one. So now it's downloading. And again, if you don't have a previous Samsung one, then you'll just create an account, but this is the benefit of it is that you can just basically uh, enter in everything that you have uh, for it. And make sure you do keep continuously sign into the same one I myself have had uh, two different email accounts and I forget which one I enter in all the time. So I've had to, uh, I have, that's why my other devices didn't show up because I probably signed for the first time on the other account instead of that one. Also important to know when you're setting up, um, you might take this time to remove any of the other little clear uh, stickers, um, or not stickers, but peel um, plastics that came on your device. You kind of see them in certain areas, so like right here, I'm going to take that off. And it's a little thin strip. And Samsung's known for always kind of covering all of it with a little sheet. And there 
you go. So now it's going to ask you, do you have a cheat? Do you have Google? I do, so I'm going to hit yes. If no, then you would create one. So I do have one, and now I'm going to sign into that. And then Google will restore all of your apps. So that's why it's so important to always create a Gmail account. That's how you not only download apps, but how you continue to use uh, your existing apps that you have purchased, as well as all of your other cloud storages through Google, such as Google Music and other t um, online storages like Drive, Google Drive, and lots of free stuff that Google gives you. So as you can see right here, now Google says it will restore everything. Um, it will restore your uh, with your account as well as everything else. Oh. Oh. And I guess if you don't do it right away, then it will sign you up. So let me do that again. Okay. And there we go to the same screen. Now I'm just going to hit next. And now it's going to restore. Now this one says it can take up to five minutes, which is true. Um, this one can take longer just because uh, if you've had a lot of Android devices like me, it could take a lot longer. And now when I hit next, it'll ask you um, if you have a Dropbox account because with this device, you do get 50 gigs of free storage for two years. So I'm going to sign into mine. if I can't remember it, and yes, I do. Um, so it's gonna have you an option to uh, save your photos automatically with Dropbox uh, if you wanna turn on or skip. I skip it because I use everything um, through, oops, I did something. Okay, and yeah, sure, I will sign in. Okay, and uh, right here it will say if you want to set up uh, the Samsung Galaxy in easy mode. Now, okay, uh, it looks like it already started updating my apps and that's what's going on. Um, I do not want to start in easy mode, but this is if you are a first time user, easy mode would be the better way and I will do a video on easy mode so you know what it does. And then I finish. And that is everything, guys. So that is how you set up your device when you turn it on for the first time. And then I'll, I'll walk you through how to set up the home screens. And keep in mind that right now, all my new apps are downloading because I have all these uh, downloading ones that I have through my Google account. So now it's just downloading all of my uh, apps. If you have any questions about this device, feel free to ask. This has been R-I-C-K-Y. The Android guy.